as it is. We're gonna make a Hackintosh! So, welcome back everybody. Um, today's the day. We, we are going on this crazy journey of making a Hackintosh. Um, now there's not a lot of, there's not a lot that goes into it. You just got to make sure you have the right supported hardware. You got to make sure that you have the correct USB install and you just got to make sure that you have the patience and the time because something will go wrong. Um, I would never ever recommend doing this to your primary computer. In fact, I bought a computer. I, I went out and bought a, a Dell specifically for this. So I'm going to show you some supported models um, and then I'm going to show you where to get your resources. I'm going to show you two ways to make the installer and then I'll show you the final product. So let's do it! Some of the best lists for Hackintoshing is one called ProTech Lists. Um, now this is for laptops. If you want a desktop, go to Tony Mac x86's website. There's hundreds of resources on where to buy, what to buy. Um, you can basically make a, a working Mac right out of the box. Um, but this is for laptops. He has, this guy has the most compatible laptops that will work with Hackintosh by year. So like if you want an older laptop, you can get an older laptop by just typing in 2015, 2014. Um, another good one is, again, Tony Mac X86 with laptop compatibility. You ask, they answer. It's as simple as that. Um, it's a really great website for doing stuff like that. Finally, if you own a Dell Latitude like I do, then you can go to OS X Latitude and click on compatibility and they have their website that shows you exactly what you need, where you need it, how you need it and again it just works and you can even download boot packs for Clover and Chameleon which are bootloaders that you're gonna need to actually install OS X. Um, personally I like going with the Latitude. The Latitude is like um, the MacBook Pro of Windows computers and it's really easy to just install and go on your merry way. Okay so this is an article on Apple's website. Um, <clears throat> I'll leave it in the description below. This is where you want to get started if you have to create a raw installer. Uh, and I'm going to show you a little trick. They named their volume my volume. So what I want you to do is to go into Disk Utility. And here's what we're going with. You want to hit Erase. You want to name this My Volume. And hit Erase. Oh, and make sure it's OS X Extended Journaled. <clears throat> That's the default these days, but I know somebody's going to bring it up, so <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry, you'll have to forgive me. Got a little bit of uh, seasonal allergies going on. Anyway, we'll wait for this to format because it shouldn't take too long. Perhaps I stand corrected. Oh, there it goes. Okay, when it says done, um, you need to find out what version of OS X you're going to install. They've got one for Mavericks, they've got one for Yosemite, they've got one for El Capitan. I'm going to try El Capitan. So, we want to copy all of this. Open up Terminal. Paste it. 
hit enter, put in our password, press Y, and I'll be back in 45 minutes. Okay, when it's finished, um, your flash drive should be renamed install OS 10 whatever, unless you're doing the Sierra beta and it'll be install Mac OS Sierra. Here's where you gotta experiment um, and do a little research. I found out that Intel HD 3000 graphics, which are what is in my um, my Dell, don't really do well with Clover. So I'm using Chameleon Enoch, which is really supportive with El Capitan. Um, it's a little bit nicer. I'll leave a link to both in the description. I'm just telling you what I'm using. Uh, you just hit continue, continue, continue. If you're American, you don't read licenses. You hit change install location. You find your installer. And you hit customize. Um, I want Chameleon in the ESP. None of this should matter unless you have a Haswell or <clears throat> if you need some extra texts or something like that. Again, you got to do some research. I can't help you with this part. But I'm just going to show you stuff that you may need. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I am going to click Dart equals zero. And my resolution is 1366 by 768. I'm going to click graphics enabler equals yes because I have an Intel graphics card. And I want the theme. So after that, you just hit install and you enter your password. I already have mine ready to go. But I'll do it again because why not? It may take a while. Um, one thing I would recommend is see if someone has Hackintoshed your computer before. And if so, you might be able to get a hold of a boot pack. I've got a boot pack for mine. That's why I'm using Chameleon. Well, that and the graphics problem. <clears throat> but I'm going to drop the texts and the, um, the boot flags in there so that you know I can do this and you'll see it's gonna come up as boot RAM disk but then it's gonna to change to EFI or it should there it goes it's gonna wrap the package receipts and then it'll change to EFI you just hit close oh my bad okay see this folder that says extra I'm gonna click it we are actually going to drop in this extra. It's going to ask me if I want to replace. Yes. But I also have a custom boot dot playlist that I want to use. So I'm going to replace that too. And after that, we should be ready to boot, but I'm going to show you another installer that you can use that I personally really, really like. Okay, another one I love using is Yosemite Zone, and you'll say, why would you use Yosemite? You know, we're at Sierra, Yosemite's become the Mavericks of OS's. Because it has every text you need. It's as simple as clicking on this restore button. Hitting continue a couple hundred times. 
picking your installer and then hitting install. Now I've already made a flash of this so I'm not going to hit install but it really is that easy to make the installer and you've got the bootloader and you've got Yosemite ready to go and it can be upgraded as long as you use Clover instead of Chameleon you can upgrade right to El Capitan I did it you know but anyway moving on let's install Okay, for the sake of time, and because I know it works, I'm just going to go with the Yosemite installation. So, we turn on the computer. I already have mine set to boot from USB. Zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see this. Now, you won't have a fancy theme like I do. I, I did that myself. But, it says, choose your OS, Yosemite Zone, or Untitled. You want to go with Yosemite Zone. Um, now's the time. If you have found out whether you need um, flags or not, now would be the time to enter them. I personally need black backslash V, which is Verboss. And backslash X, which is safe mode. And then I'll hit enter. From there... You can't see it really, but the texts are loading. Okay, mine's about to start up. Um, <laughs> if you've seen these lines of code and you're like, oh god, I broke it. No. Uh, as long as you don't see system uptime in nanoseconds or debugger called panic or uh, no Bluetooth found or something like that, then you're fine. Now, as you see, it's telling me that I don't have a keyboard. I have a keyboard. So, now we just go through the setup. I want to use English for my main language. You may not. It's, it's up to you. This is really, honestly, like an OS X standard setup. There's just one difference if you use Yosemite Zone. I'm going to go to Utilities, Disk Utility. I'm not going to wipe my disk, but I'll show you guys. You just click it, and you hit Erase, and you make sure it's OS 10 Extended Journal with whatever name you want to put right here. Then you exit out of that. Hit Continue, Continue. Agree to the terms. Now, go to Untitled, and... Oh. Well, here's where you would put in custom stuff, but I can't because I've already upgraded this to El Capitan. But you'll see a drop-down folder that says Customize, and this is where you'll pick bootloaders and graphics flags and all that other stuff. You need to be careful here. Make sure you have what your system needs. It's very important. Now, again, you might say, why are you using Yosemite? Because if I choose the Clover bootloader and update Clover, I can download the Yosemite or the El Capitan app, run the actual app, and it will upgrade. And I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so I switched hard drives. This is my actual finished Hackintosh. 99% uh, working. I still don't have the touchpad working, but to be honest with you, I don't want the touchpad working. Um, I have to use my Yosemite Zone USB because I also have Windows 8, or Windows 10, excuse me, on here. The Apple logo is a little sideways. That's my fault because I put in the wrong resolution. But you know what? It boots. I don't really care. As long as it boots up, um, no one else is going to be seeing this except for however many people view the video. I'm one of those people. If it's not broke, don't fix it. And this isn't broken, it's just kind of horrendous looking. So anyway, it's going to boot up. And see, here's that graphics problem I was telling you about. 
But there you go. Then you have your Hackintosh, and I'm going to put my password in real quick. And there you go. Everything's working. Um, again, you got to do the research for what your Hackintosh needs. But I'm hoping that this at least gives you a basic idea of how to make an installer, how to install the stuff, how to even upgrade, you know, things like that. That's another problem. It tells me that I need a Bluetooth keyboard, but if I just right click and hit quit, It actually runs Final Cut really nicely. Um, in fact, I made this in Final Cut. I'll show you guys real quick. Just to test the 3D rendering to make sure I had full 3D effects. Apple thinks this won't work, but it does. Anyway. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. It's free. Um, there's not really much more I can say. Tune in next week when I talk about the future of this channel and where we're going because it's not staying in Grandma Productions. In fact, this will be the last AGP video. So this is Adam. Take it easy.